difference when we do. Senator Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let's kind of pick up where you left off there. It's okay to criticize the court. We all do it. I mean, they're, you know, they're subject to criticism. You know, where you're right, where you're wrong. Uh, can we all agree on the following? <clears throat> that Justice Sotomayor and Kagan are honorable people. Does anyone disagree with that? Now's your chance to say so. Do you feel the same about Justice Roberts? Okay, I agree with you. I don't agree with Sotomayor and Kagan's dissenting opinion, but I don't doubt that they're motivated uh, by what they think is best. Let's go back to how all this plays out in the real world. Is this the first case in the history of the country where a former president has been pursued criminally? Is this the first time that's ever happened in the country, the Jack Smith prosecution of former President Trump? We all agree? Okay. Well, this is a case in controversy. It's never happened before. Now, what do you do once it has happened? How do you deal with it? What are the rules, if any? So let's talk about, in the footnote, it says that you could prosecute a president who took a bribe for a pardon. Uh, how do you say your last name, sir, <laughs> Phil? Lacavara. Okay, Mr. Lacavara. You agree with that? Yes, I certainly agree with that. Okay. So <clears throat> I do too, but it also says you can't go into the motive stuff because I don't know where all that ends. So explicit grant of authority to a president seems to have a standing with the court different than things that are not specifically addressed by the Constitution, which makes sense to me. Now, having said that, let's get back to our own history. You're a historian, and I don't know when it was, I guess probably 1942, whenever it was, President Roosevelt put everybody of Japanese descent in an internment camp. Am I right about that? And I, his motives were to protect the country from another attack and thought that maybe Japanese Americans may be more loyal to Japan than America. Is that sort of what he was thinking, you think? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Do you agree at its core it was inherently racist? Uh, it, it, it definitely was racist, yeah. yes. Okay, so you had a motive to protect the country that's inherently racist. Mm-hmm. Should he be prosecuted for that? I think probably not. <laughs> so it's a hard question. I'm not playing games here. You know, we're, we're living in a real world of where presidents are bad people, good people. Some good people do bad things. What's the role of the law here? So... <clears throat> If we don't do what the court did, uh, Professor Mascot, what happens to the presidency over time, in your view? Well, I mean, the, president, the presidency could continue to face political attacks after the fact, and presidents who are hamstrung and not able to serve by folks coming after the fact and raising politicized prosecution. So I think the court here is trying to issue a modest opinion. Is there a road to banana republic if we don't have some rules? Yes, because what it would do is turn the court system and criminal prosecution into a weapon that replaces the political branches. So one thing that I think um, was hard to maybe see from some of the... Uh, our, just hold I'm that sure. thought. Mr. McKay, are you concerned about the weaponization of the law against President Trump? Yes, um, because the it's not simply President Trump. It's any subsequent president who would have to look over his shoulder um, to assure that his decisions are not subject to possible criminal prosecution. Um, the weaponization of, I mean, the, the very term weaponization suggests that the criminal law is being, is being invoked for improper reasons. Um, I'm, I have no hesitation about the application of the criminal law to either President Trump or any other president or any other public official who violates the law, but that's a very different thing. Okay. The idea of, uh, say, the president ordering the, uh, the assassination of his opponent. Is that official act? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, let me, let me just, that, that's just, nose good. I mean, just I mean, to use a, a, a less dramatic, but equally. Nose good, nose good. Yeah. Okay. 
just to use a less dramatic. Good, right, okay, right. good. So <laughs> what I want to say is huh. the hearing, uh, title, whatever you want to call it, is suggesting that the court somehow has unleashed upon the American people an evil force. I don't buy that one bit. I think the court is dealing with a case before it in a rational way. We can all disagree. I think everybody on this panel is honorable. I think everybody on the court is honorable. Thank you. Senator Whitehouse. Thanks, Chairman. 